Hello. So this is a quick review of the Ergo Baby 180 stroller. Um, just real quick, this is not a jogging stroller. I personally never thought I would stray from the jogging stroller type. Um, I've had a baby trend. I've also had a Graco, both joggers. And I always thought for maneuverability, they were the easiest, um, but I was wrong. This is far easier to maneuver over either of those two that I've had. Um, so I'm definitely not a firm believer when it comes to jogging strollers any longer, not after this one. So I picked this up on Amazon Prime Day for $125. It's typically a $400 stroller. It does go on sale at times. I've seen it like $80 off on Ergo Baby's website. Um, the $125 that I picked it up for is the, the cheapest I have personally seen it. Um, but that doesn't mean that you know you can't get other great sales on it as well. So just to go over some of the great features with you, for me, it was extremely important that I have the option for parent facing. My son does not like to be facing away. He likes to be able to see me. I like to be able to see him. And I wanted it to be easy. So with the Gray Co, I had the Gray Co modes three. With the Gray Co, in order to switch this from parent facing or forward facing, you literally had to push the buttons on either side and then turn the entire seat. And then in order to fold it up to put it in your car, you had to have the seat forward facing. So if your child was parent facing and you went to put it away, you always have to turn it. Doesn't sound like that big of a deal, but it really did become a hassle. With this one, it's the actual handle bar that you turn. So you literally just pull up on either side and then you flip it over. And then that's how it becomes um, forward facing. It has all four wheels and each wheel has its own individual lock. So when you're forward facing, you just lock the real rear wheels, which is as simple as pushing down on each lock and then just turning them, or not turn the right way. Locks quickly, and then you unlock the front. It's literally just that quick and easy. Now, if you're using this on like just a, just like walking the mall or through an airport, something like that, you can leave all of the wheels unlocked, and then you've got like maneuverability where it can just go side to side or literally go anywhere. Um, really pretty simply. But you wanna make sure that you're only using it on that type of surface if you're going to do that for safety reasons. Otherwise you want you know, two of the wheels, whether it be front or back, locked. So when it comes to my husband and I using this, um, one thing that we definitely use quite a bit is the extendable handlebar. So I'm just locking these again quick. So you can extend the handlebar out by unlocking either side here and then just pulling up to wherever is easiest for you. And then you can push it back down and relock. The other thing that is super nice from a comfort perspective is I noticed, so when my son falls asleep, he has a tendency to like lay his head on the side. And in the gray coat and the baby trend that I had, none of this was padded. In this one, literally everything here is either mesh or it has padding. So he's not just resting on something that's hard, which to me just seems like it would be a lot more comfortable. And then it also has everything covered and padded. So you've got the back, or the, the shoulder straps, and then also the middle strap. And it's all, it's all covered and padded. And then in the center, you see here, all of this has more padding than literally I've ever seen in another stroller. Um, this is all super padded, which is great. Now, the other thing that you might wanna pay attention to when you're getting a stroller is um, the height of the back as well as for the feet. So my son is tall. Um, he is he's 14 months old and he is like he's almost 32 inches. So he's very tall for his age. 
And in the gray coat, his head was almost at the top and his feet were already resting on the little footrest that they give him. So it was not gonna last very long for us. Whereas in this one, when I put him in, his head is like maybe here and his feet aren't anywhere near the bottom yet. So this is definitely gonna work a lot longer for us when it comes to you know, a height perspective. The other thing that I personally use a lot that I really like um, is this canopy cover. So this comes down a lot further than most typical covers do. It still has the magnetic peep through top. That's all mesh that you can still see through. But this comes down a lot further, which is great for sun coverage, but I also personally like it for privacy. So if I have my son out in the store and I'm afraid of wandering, wandering hands that, you know, <laughs> always seem to like to reach out and touch the babies. I'm not a fan of that. I can't stand it. Um, <laughs> if I'm in one of those situations, I'll just quickly, you know, pull this over and then people leave us alone. <laughs> um, and then also you have your adjustability um, for the back. So what they did here was you've got this nice pocket which doubles as a great place to, you know, pop your wallet in or any of your valuables, but it also hides your strap in order to adjust this. So you can adjust it all the way down. And then this is all mesh, so it's very breathable. If it's, you know, raining or, you know, you're in a situation where you don't want the mesh, you know, just to be showing, then they have the option to unsnap this and it comes all the way down and literally velcros underneath just like that so then all of that is covered and you have it in a nice reclined position then one thing that I just found out the other day which I wasn't aware of. I had my water bottle on the bottom and it leaked. So when I went to put the stroller away, I picked my water bottle up and there was a huge puddle of ginger ale. It didn't go through the bottom at all. So obviously they've made the bottom part of this out of the material or coated it with something that's waterproof. So if you have anything down here or if you're going through you know, like puddles and such, you don't have to worry about water splashing up or leaking through because obviously it's waterproof. <laughs> so there's a lot of nice features to this stroller. The one I will say that's advertised that I will disagree with is they say it's a one-handed close. So it closes a lot easier than any other stroller I've used personally, but I really wouldn't call it a one-handed close because what you have to do is there's a strap in the seat. So that gray strap right here. What you have to do is you have to pull up on that and then push down on the handlebars is what I have found to get it to close. If I don't do that, what happens is this. And that's not fully closed. So yes, you can push on it and close it up, but you still need two hands to do that. So a lot of times what I end up doing is I will pull up on this, push the handlebar down, and then it just closes the rest of the way with the momentum of the back falling. So it's not hard to close it, obviously, but I wouldn't really call it a one-handed close. If I'm holding my son, I'm trying to close this, it doesn't work very well. <laughs> To open it, there is a gray button on the side. You pull the handlebar up, it locks into place, you can hear it, and then you pull it back up. Pop this back on. And then everything you can safety check. So it will, like you'll hear a click when it's all in place and you know that it's locked in, but you can double check yourself by looking at the sides. I don't know if you can see that, but there you go. There are 
two green dots on either side. When they're lined up, it's locked in um, to place and you're good to go. So it's just another good way to, to check yourself. So really, um, I mean, I know one thing some people might find is kind of a downfall is the fact that in order to use an infant car seat with this, you do need to have an adapter. Ergo Baby sells adapters for a lot of different infant car seats. So you can use one with it. Um, overall though, I don't know as if I would even, I don't know if I would even bother. I mean, obviously my son's older, he's not in an infant seat, but they sell this insert that goes inside for an infant. So you lay the back down and then this insert makes their hips uh, basically stay in that ergonomical end position. And you don't even need to have them in an infant seat between that positioner and your harness. It works for an infant. I mean, obviously some people are, you know, they like their infant seats and that's fine. There's adapters available. I just don't think that it's necessarily something you have to have in order to use this with an infant as well. You do need that, you do need that insert though. Um, so really, I love this. I never thought that I would like a stroller that wasn't a jogging stroller, um, but I really do love it. And honestly, every time I take it out, um, I, I just, I love it more and more. It's super easy to use. The ride on it, um, the tires are um, a little stiffer, so they're not as, I know how like some of your, your higher end strollers are going to have air filled tires with kind of like that springy suspension. It's not like that. Like you don't have that springy suspension. So it's not that it's jarring, but it's not going to be as smooth of a ride as, you know, like your, your $1,200 strollers. So just keep that in mind. It definitely rides better than my Graco and my baby trend did. My Graco, I hit a bump and it was like coming to a screeching halt. Um, and this is not quite like that. This is definitely a lot better, a lot more comfortable for the baby. Um, so I would say for, you know, the price kind of in between like your super high end strollers and then, you know, your, your lower end, you know, price point wise, this is a great stroller for kind of the in between. Um, so if you're thinking about it, I would say personally go for it. Um, I do think it's completely worth $400. So yeah, um, I think that's about it. I'm sure that they're, oh, so Ergo Baby, they do sell some accessories. So they sell like a snack tray. So you can see right here, it comes like this. There's no snack tray. You can buy the snack tray for it. I also bought this, which is just a pouch that has two cup holders. It has a main pouch for you know cell phone, wallet, whatever. And then it has this piece, which has a zipper pocket. And then this whole zipper pocket actually zips off of this. So if you just wanted to take this with you somewhere, you can just unzip it. I got this from Target. I will link it for you, but it works really well. Um, it's super handy to have because I just Velcro it on to either side and then I'm good to go. And it does hold like cups and stuff really well. So the stroller itself only comes with this one side cup holder. So this definitely makes it a lot easier. The other thing that I did, oh, here it is. I bought a fan. <laughs> so I, I think strollers are kind of notorious for, you know, babies getting a little warmer just because there's not a whole lot of airflow and they're kind of, you know, tucked in there. So I got this fan from Amazon. I will also link this for you as well. Um, I typically push the stroller with the handlebar extended, at least part way. So I clip the fan right onto the side and it fully swivels. And then this also rotates. So up here, my baby can't reach it. Um, the, the slats on this are super small anyway. So it's actually advertised as your baby's fingers not being able to go through. I'm sure if your baby's fingers are super small though, they're gonna be able to go through. So I don't take that risk. <laughs> I just make sure it's out of my son's reach, make sure it's out of the reach of his feet because he holds his feet up to it. 
and he it's it's super powerful um, he can feel it just fine sitting in there this runs for I think they said a total of 60 hours and it runs on rechargeable batteries so it just has like a mini S or a mini USB cord that it comes with and you just plug it in charge it for like two hours and uh, you're good to go for like another I think it's like 60 hours they said it runs for and then it has the differing speeds on it too so you can choose however much airflow you want. This is also super handy to have when this is extended all the way down. So like typically, um, if I'm not walking, my son will fall asleep, I'll lay the back down, and then I'll put this down. If that's the case, I will then move this down here because laying down, he's strapped in, he can't reach it. And then this provides airflow under this canopy. So just kind of nicer for him. So anyway, so those are the items that I purchased. I have not purchased any of the accessories directly from Ergo Baby. Like I said, I got those two from Target and Amazon, but they do have a lot of other options out there as well. So yeah, I highly recommend this. I love it. I think it's great. Um, and yeah, I would, I would definitely say it is worth the $400 that they have it listed for retail. But if you can find it on sale, even better. All right, guys, if you have any questions on this, like if you're thinking about buying one and you're like, hey, you didn't answer this question, just let me know and I will definitely look at it and get back to you and see if I can answer it for you. All right, thanks.